Okay, welcome back. This is going to be a combination video. So I originally recorded The Day That Never Comes by Metallica live in Quebec. Because, well, I thought that was the best one because it was during the Death Magnetic Tour. But everyone in my comment section says that they want the, the live in Nimes. 2009, I believe that's in France. So that's what we're going to do with that ancient Colosseum. So we're doing both videos. We're going to do this one now. And then if you want to stay and watch the Quebec one, then by all means. So let's go. All right. Okay, let's pause. Dude, okay, the sound quality of this is immense. I mean, when you perform in one of those ancient amphitheaters that were constructed so that a single voice could reach the furthest seat, instead of being in an arena where the sound quality is shit, because it, it is, I mean... Arena Rock is great, but still, the sound quality is pretty crappy. But when you play in a place that for a thousand years has had the best sound quality ever, your sound is going to be incredible, man. So, of course, it sounds great. Let's go. No, no the sunshine did it come. Yo 
the memes that they said. What a show. Okay, stay tuned for the Quebec show. Uh, the Quebec Magnetic, I think it's called. Yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, we're back doing more Metallica. The Day That Never Comes Alive. This is in Quebec. This is 11 years old, so probably right when the album came out. So this is probably the earliest live performance that I have. So let's get into it. All right. Push. 
that sounds really good. They're really adding an echo onto his vocals. Um, really gives it that arena sound because it just booms throughout all the open space, man. That's interesting because they really didn't do that on the album version. Let's go. He's into it. <laughs> You guys have fun, man. <laughs> Hanging from the ceiling, man. That's cool, man. <laughs> okay, like how James Curry could do it like, like dueling guitar.
I'm cool watching Kirk solo, man. Love it when the cameraman stays on him, man. Yeah, that was awesome. I'll tell you, as someone who has been a musician for a while and well, knows a lot of music theory, um, but is just starting to learn the guitar, it's really fun to watch James and Kirk perform live because I'm interested in their techniques and how they do it and also in awe of how they do it because they're the best in the world, hands down. 